Okay, Ron one here out in the Dumbrose World little range here. Uh, do a little test on my North American Arms. I believe this is a Ranger, Ranger 2, their newer break open 22 mag here. I uh, bought it new, right out of the box, took it out, had issues with it. Uh, I, I'd fire one, sometimes two rounds, and then, uh, let me take the bullets out here. And then, uh, empty. Woo! So I'd take it out when it was new, fire a round or two, and obviously it's single action, so you have to cock it each time. So when I go to cock it, it wouldn't even cock and, and or rotate the cylinder. It was just like jam, tried everything. So I'd unload it, I'd dry fire it. Seemed to work, you know, dry fire and then do anything, you know, work fine. So load it back up. You get through one round, maybe rarely two rounds, jam. You just couldn't cock it or rotate it. So I brought it to the good guys where I bought it at Bucky O'Neill's in Prescott, and they were very nice. They checked uh, North American Arms records because I guess if it was in a certain serial number span, uh, they would could just swap out to a new one. But this was a pretty new off the assembly line. This is number 139 of the ones they made. So I went online to look and I found out that a lot of people were having issues with the early ones doing that cylinder jamming in between shots. So Bucky O'Neill's were very nice. They sent it in to North American Arms for me. And I'll tell you what, North American Arms turned this thing around in a couple of days, got it back. And it said on their paperwork they changed the mainspring, which I'm not sure revolvers what a mainspring does, but uh, I thought that was kind of odd. So anyway, we're out here today. Give it a try again, see if that fixed it. I would guess if they were having a, some of these issues when they were first out, they know how to fix it, so they were experienced with fixing it. So I'm assuming they know what they're doing. So let's give it a try. Okay, here we go. We'll find out about this fast. I could never get through a whole cylinder before. So I got five rounds of CCI in there, which is a good ammo, they say, for it. They list a few brands uh, tell you not to use in there, but CCI is good. So let's give it a try here. Little dinky little thing. Okay, now right here is where it would not cock and, and rotate the cylinder. Oh, nice. It's two. Yeah. Three. Oh, yeah, I think they fixed it. Believe me, it didn't go this many before. Four. Five. Very nice. Very nice. It worked fine. Let's give it another five. Make sure. Okay, gang. We got another five rounds in here. If it gets through this, I'd say it's definitely fixed. Uh-oh. 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 Rut rope. It is not fixed. Will not cock. Uh, will not do it. Cylinder rotates, but it's like the trigger just doesn't quite go back all the way. Ah, uh, there, had to hand do it. I don't think it's fixed. Well, after I helped it get going, it worked. Uh, 
I'm gonna have to try that again now. See if there's something I was doing. I don't know if you have to start in the half position here. They have notches in between each round, which is where you carry it. So I'm not sure after you load it, if you have to close it on one of those half in between, not on. So let's try that, make sure. I'm not sure what I did when I loaded that. Okay, got another five rounds in here. I uh, closed it on the in between the rounds where you're supposed to carry it. And uh, also something else I did notice, maybe that was the problem last time. There's one cylinder that's a little tight. It's, uh, they're all pretty dry. They don't eject very easily, so it needs a good cleaning. I don't know how many times they fired it at the factory, but I didn't clean it when I got it back. So maybe I had one shell that was sticking out just a tiny bit. So let's see what we get this time. Okay, cocked out of the gate. been my issue as you can see it's getting pretty dirty uh, this is supposed to kind of pop the shells out and it's not popping them at all so I think that's what I had I'm gonna try one more make sure they're all pushed in good and uh, if it works I'll say it's fixed and just needs a good cleaning and you got to close the cylinder on that half cock Okay, here we go, another five rounds. It's on the safety uh, notch in between the cylinders. Uh, all the shells are, were pushed in all the way. It was kind of rough getting the shells out. I guess these things might just get dirty quick and make it tough to, for the mechanism to push them out. She made it, so I think I solved the problem. Close it on the safety notch, make sure the shells are all pushed in good. So we'll get this out here in another few weeks and get it cleaned real good and just see how long it goes on this cylinder. Then it gets dirty and it don't push them out. There, see, it kind of pushed them out that time. Kind of worked at it and got them pushed out. All right. Thanks for coming. Thanks, North American Arms. It looks like you did solve the problem. So I got a shooter again. Catch everyone later. Well, here's the target on that uh, little North American Arms. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see those little holes in here, but uh, it actually kept everything uh, six ring and down. So as far as shooting and nothing's keyhole i had somebody told me there's keyhole within like seven feet but there's nothing keyhole there shot good uh get a closer look at it so you guys can see here so you know as far as shooting fairly straight for a little damn gun oh and that was at 25 feet which you know you're never going to use that gun at 25 feet but uh see them holes now not bad. Now we're out. See you later, guys. Thanks for watching.